so we stayed a night in the Holiday in Warwick, which is in a suburb of Providence, Rhode Island. And it was pretty good. It reminded us what hotels can be like if they're not just shabby motels. The next place we're going to stay uh, won't be a shabby motel, but the one after that probably will be. Um, so, which is a bit annoying. Um, so we're going to have a look around Providence. So we, we're staying here for a second day and rather than race about, we're actually doing some shopping. So we've gone to Coles um, and I think this is probably not a bad test because the test of having to do boring things like shopping is a good test, isn't yes. it? You know, if you want to, we're, we're, we're trying to find somewhere to live. Rather than go to, you know, the, a town's aquarium, we're, we're not going to be visiting aquariums um, as a day-to-day -day thing. Uh, so this is, this is a much better way of finding out whether somewhere's livable. Uh, we will also try and find someone who looks and sounds like Peter Griffin. Eyelashes for rent. Someone just um, let us cross. I think the drivers here are much nicer than um, in some of the other places that we've been. According to the internet, Rhode Island is the smallest state, but it's also the second most densely populated. Right, why is it called Rhode Island? It's not an island. It's not an island. I island. have absolutely no, no idea, but we are, um, there's a lot of water, I just it's don't know. You're surrounded by water. Well, sort of not. You're, <laughs> you're surrounded by water on the south. There's a whole other surrounded world by water. in the southern end of the state. Right. It's just beaches and slow life and just easy. And okay. Right. That's and a different that... place altogether. Okay. Oh, so it sounds like Rhode Island, even though it's small, has lots of different... It's a land of contrast. Yeah. They reckon that, that Rhode Island wasn't quite as touristy, although there were part, parts of it touristy, but a lot of it wasn't. And that can be a good thing, because it means that the place is more geared for locals and um, that things aren't needlessly expensive. It's slightly hilly. I don't like that, but... Not that hilly, not that hilly. No, it's, it's a slight hill. There's a place called, I think it's India Key or India Street, and I th it sounded like it was more referring to East India than um, the American Indians were in. And, um, I wonder if there's any link. I wonder if they had any trade like before they got annoyed with England. So the houses are, they are quite close together, but they are well kept. For being in the middle of a capital city is absolutely fine. Some very nice colours. The United States, there are zoning laws where, uh, uh, isn't it that you can't have businesses amongst houses? And this Usually, yes. Yeah, but this, this doesn't have it because this has shops in, mm. interspersed, and, and which I like. They have Zipcar. Uh, it's an hourly car rental scheme. Uh, we were in something very similar in England and it was quite good. This is the student district of Providence, Rhode Island. It looks pretty good. Lots of shops and things that sell falafel. Uh, would you recommend Rhode Island? I, uh, no. I would recommend New York. Oh, New York. Uh, are you from New York? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's in New York or like Jersey. Jersey? And maybe even like, um, maybe even some parts of Connecticut. Okay. Yeah, but I'm an East Coast guy, man. Is this it's from Arizona? So. Right. What's that? What's that? Like? Yeah. Any good? It's nice. Right. It's hot, but it's nice. Yeah. It's, it's been... very culturally different from here. Very. Okay. Extremely different. How is it different? It's more laid back. Okay. Everything is further away. We mm. here are in a hurry to go nowhere fast. And she said that it was, it was something like a third the price to live in Arizona. Mm. So we're going to have to go to Arizona. To... Ah. Ah. They do Indian food here. Um, do. Sorry. I, I think they do across the street as ah, well. Th there's more Indian food here. Yeah, I, I quite like it round here. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I really want to park in the Consul of France's parking spot. It looks like the US's smallest state has the smallest dog. You want a picture of it? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're, we're sort of recording at the moment. That's fantastic. I love Rhode Island. Yeah, a couple of slices of pizza. What do you, what do you want, Chris? I don't know. One with things on it. Uh, <laughs> Yes, things. <laughs> I'm from Edmonton. Are you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Came here for a vacation a while back and uh, stayed. We are looking for somewhere to live in the United States. What Do you recommend Rhode Island? Rhode Island's wonderful, but uh, you want to be more like uh, East Greenwich. Oh, East Greenwich. Way. Or the East Side, which is nice. I went back to visit my dad. Uh, my accent came right back within <laughs> three days. With the Confederate flag, the other day some girl says, what are you going to Confederate flag? I says, please don't be stupid. Actually, I'm just going to show that this is the um, you, Union flag. Yes, yeah, Union UK. flag. 
or Great so, Britain, it comes under many names. Some people call it the Union Jack, but I don't think it is meant to be a Union yeah. Jack, is it? You know the 4th of July here? Oh, yeah. Independence from England? Yes. I fly my Union Jack out every 4th of July. I've had knocks on my door. Yeah. 4th of July, a dark day for Britain. I, I told people but, we're taking it back. Yes. They're very worried um, that we're going to take it back, because what they do is they put flags everywhere saying, no, no, this is our bit. Uh, and this house, this is America, uh, and this lake. I saw one right in the middle of a lake, and I thought, it's, it's yours. This man's just said, you're a modern-day pilgrim. Or, no, your son's a modern-day pilgrim, isn't he? Yeah, because he'll he, be first-generation he, American. What do you think of Rhode Island? Do you, do you like it as a state? Um, is it all right, or is it terrible? <laughs> is it the worst place in the world? No, it definitely is not the worst place in the world. It's small. Everyone knows it, everyone. Okay. Like, but there are a if lot I have an ex, I see him, like, five about. times a day. Newport yeah. is beautiful. Warwick is nice for, like, families because there's a lot of children over there. Coventry is like Hickey. Do you know what Hickey mm. is? Like Hick Town. Like they're right. where all the cowboys are. Why is it called an island? It's clearly not. <laughs> it's, it's, it's there are all islands. The, all the, uh, uh, Rhode Island is not the real name of Rhode Island. Uh, it's called the state of Rhode Island and Providence Plantation. It's the smallest state with the biggest name. There you yeah. go. There you go. So you get to say it. Ta. Ta. Yeah. Ta. Finally. Yeah. Anyway, thanks very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. And this is how you make a sidewalk. You pour a load of concrete out and then you comb it. I didn't know that. We're just about to go into the cinema and we're chatting to uh, this fella who is called Cody. He's the, he's the nicest guy in the whole of Indiana. Uh, we're not in Indiana. Uh, but uh, So I'd like to apologise for the video that was slightly negative about Indianapolis right now. <laughs> so, why is this called Rhode Island? It's not an island. It, it's that. It's because um, there's a part where it used to be just that part used to be Rhode Island, and then it was uh, then like bro, yeah. That's it. Used to, yeah. That you, that's sense. the first. Thing. We've asked lots of people. Yeah. You're the first person who's come out with an answer <laughs> that, that I can believe in. We are very small, so that's great. You know, it's like. It's very close and, you know, everyone's here, it's, it's, it's amazing. Right. There's a lot of places to, to go as well, so... Oh, I think people from Rhode Island like being from Rhode Island, though. I, I like being from Rhode Island. People here seem happy, actually, generally. Yeah. So that, that's something we also want. We want to live somewhere where your average person isn't you know, just horribly angry and therefore no. taking it out on the universe, no. so... No, no, we don't really. <laughs> I, I, I haven't met many people like that. I've met mm -hmm. a few. Obviously, well, yeah, there's always going to be yeah. a few, but I think if it's not the majority, that's, that's mm -hmm. the main thing. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, it's great here, honestly.